Trotsky, A Biography is a biography of the Marxist theorist and revolutionary Leon Trotsky written by the English historian Robert Service, then a professor in Russian history at the University of Oxford. It was first published by Macmillan in 2009 and later republished in other languages. Having converted to the Marxist revolutionary movement in early life, Trotsky (1879–1940) had been a member of the Bolshevik Party and a significant figure in the October Revolution of 1917, which brought the Bolsheviks to power in the Russian Empire. Following the death of Vladimir Lenin, Trotsky's rival Joseph Stalin ascended to the Soviet leadership, with Trotsky fleeing into exile, where he was murdered in Mexico. Following his death, various biographers produced works studying Trotsky. Services differs from many of these in its emphasis. He argues that Trotsky has been romanticized by Western leftists for decades, instead claiming that Trotsky laid the groundwork for the Stalinist totalitarian state in the Soviet Union and that had he become Soviet leader rather than Stalin, the end result would have been very similar. The book received a mixed reception upon publication. The mainstream British and American press was overwhelmingly positive, but reviews in peer-reviewed, academic journals were more critical, highlighting factual errors throughout the text. <laughs> <laughs> Background Prior to the publication of Trotsky, a biography, Service had written a number of historical studies and biographies of Russia in the period of revolution, the Bolshevik Party in Revolution 1917–23, a study in organizational change 1979, a history of 20th century Russia 1997, the Russian Revolution, 1900–27 a history of modern Russia, from Nicholas II to Putin 1998, second edition in 2003, Lenin, A Biography 2000, Russia, Experiment with a People 2002, Stalin, A Biography 2004, and Comrades, A World History of Communism 2007. Service is of the opinion, controversial among Trotskyists and anti-Stalinist Leninist, that politically the difference between Lenin, Trotsky and Stalin was only marginal and that excessive anti-democratic attitudes and use of terror as a mean of politics, was an embedded attitude with all three men and a significant portions of the Bolshevik leadership from the earliest days. The excesses of Stalin was mainly a matter of personality and background such as ruthlessness, jealousy, a deep feeling anger founding in him being continually overlooked and disregarded, a level of personal paranoia, and never failing memory regarding hurt and perceived enemies and a deep lust for vengeance on a personal level. Lenin favored Stalin until, too late, their fallout in 1923 really opened Lenin's eyes to the danger of a future with Stalin in power. Trotsky failed to form alliances and was socially inept and never fully accepted in the Bolshevik party leadership, which he had joined late. However, Stalin, contrary to his opponent, was a brilliant politician and political tactician, who was among the few who genuinely understood the consequences and means of political maneuvering in an environment in which appeals to the masses where the other leaders were strong had been systematically cut out of the equation by the means of the Red Terror and prohibition of most means and vehicles of opposition that they had themselves promoted and embraced. The ability to think theoretically, appeal in writing or speech to the public had rapidly diminished in political value by 1924 and was steadily declining in political value, and only alliances counted, which was Stalin's strength. Trotsky had himself aided the cutting off the only branch which might have supported him. Critical reception. Academic reviews 
His biography of Trotsky was positively reviewed in the British and American press on its publication, but two years later was strongly criticized by Services Hoover Institution colleague Bertrand Paytonord in a review for the American Historical Review. Paytonord, reviewing Services' book alongside a rebuttal by the Trotskyist David North in defense of Leon Trotsky, charged Service with making dozens of factual errors, misrepresenting evidence, and failing to examine in a serious way Trotsky's political ideas. Service responded that the book's factual errors were minor and that Paytonord's own book on Trotsky presented him as a noble martyr. In July 2009, prior to the publication of his own book, Robert Service had written a review of Partenord's publication Stalin's Nemesis, The Exile and Murder of Leon Trotsky which he applauded for being "...vividly told", but also criticized for neglecting Trotsky's crimes while sharing power in the USSR. The book has also been harshly criticized by the German historian of communism Hermann Weber, a former KPD member, who led a campaign to prevent Surkamp Verlag from publishing it in Germany. Fourteen historians and sociologists signed a letter to the publishing house. The letter cited, "...a host of factual errors." The "...repugnant connotations." of the passages in which Service deals with Trotsky's Jewish origins, and Service's recourse to "...formulas associated with Stalinist propaganda," for the purpose of discrediting Trotsky. Surkamp announced in February 2012 that it will publish a German translation of Robert Service's Trotsky in July 2012. Press reviews Reviews in the mainstream British press were predominantly positive. In the Daily Telegraph, the popular historian Simon Sebag Montefiore described Trotsky as, "...an outstanding, fascinating biography of this dazzling titan," believing that it offered a much-needed, "...scholarly revision," of the revolutionaries. Historical reputation. He praised the way that it explored the ugly egotism and unpleasant, overweening arrogance, the belief in an enthusiastic practice of killing on a colossal scale, the political ineptitude and the limit of ambition of Trotsky. Writing for the Literary Review, the political philosopher John N. Gray claimed that. The full extent of Trotsky's role in building Soviet totalitarianism has not been detailed, until now. Considering the book to be, ah, rigorously researched, he notes that Service surpasses himself, painting a portrait of Trotsky that is, genuinely revelatory, and very different from the one celebrated by B. N. Pensants. Although focusing his review on a discussion of what he interprets as the negative side to Trotsky's personality, Gray claims that Service's work is scrupulously balanced. Summing up his review, Gray proclaims that Service has authored the best biography of Trotsky to date, and there seems little reason why anyone should write another. In contrast, Tariq Ali, military historian and a former Trotskyist still appreciating Trotsky, produced a negative review of Service's book for The Guardian. Describing the work as, "...stodgy," Ali claims that the work is highly politically motivated by Service's anti-communist views, believing that Service's view can be summarized in a sentence, Trotsky was a ruthless and cold-blooded murderer and deserves to be exposed as such. Quote, he relates that this counterfactual approach is nothing new. Having been the Stock in trade for both anti-communist and Stalinist critics of Trotsky for decades. <laughs> 